Nice. Come on.
Are you Millicent? Yes. Come on. Your family's worried sick. What on earth? Thank God you came along. What were you doing out here by yourself? Climb on. Let's get you home. Come on! What's your name, mister? John! John Marston! I've heard that somewhere before. You from around here? I spent some time down here, but I live in West Elizabeth. I have a small farm up there. My wife and son? They've got the infection. That's terrible. Do you think there's a cure? I sure hope so. Otherwise, we'll go I jumped in the car! Come on! Help us. Never in all my life. What on earth? God help us. Let's go. Did you see them clawing at the house like a pack of wolves? It was like they could smell me in there. No offense, miss, but they could. It's horrific. Are they alive or dead? Somewhere in between, I reckon. It's some kind of punishment for our sins, isn't it? It's a curse! My pa warned me, but I didn't listen. This is all my fault. What are you talking about? I, I kissed a man and we weren't even betrothed. Here we are. I can't seem to get away from this place. Like I said, thank you. Good luck helping your family, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
and mint it. This is for you. It's been a pleasure.
Ah, Mr. Marston. What's going on? You got a passage into Mexico? Uh, for me, no. Uh, but for you, maybe. Uh, it all depends on your relationship with good old Uncle Samuel. What are you talking about? Well, uh, the border is indeed closed. But the army is sending a train down there. Now, whether it's to help the Mexicans there or to escape the problems here, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but I thought things were better in Mexico. Yeah, well, uh, better or worse, it's uh, certainly different. <laughs> so why am I going and not you? Ah, well, that's a matter of age, dear boy. The army don't have many recruits with quite my level of experience. <laughs> so... So, you are on your own. <laughs> There's a train at uh, Benedict Point, and it's leaving soon once they've got all of the soldiers rounded up. Okay. And uh, your venerable friend here has done some more help. I have found some less than happy campers who have given up on glory and abandoned Uncle Sam's ranks. Uh, they're hiding out at Scratching Post. One of them might give you a uniform. <laughs> okay. What about you? Ah! Baghdad, dear boy! <laughs> well, either that, or Fort Mercer, or perhaps it's time to meet my maker with drool coming out of my mouth and a lust for human blood. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of yourself. I always do, dear boy. I always do. be it.
Thanks for helping out. They came out of nowhere. Anytime, partner. Say, you fellas have a spare uniform? What the hell for? My family's in trouble and I need to get over the border. I hear there's an army train going that way. Sure, what do I care anymore? <laughs> you earned it. There should be one in the chest by the tent. Help yourself. Thanks. I feel like such a noble patriot. Listen. Good luck to you. Stay safe. Let's go. Good, soldier. 
Basic training was very thorough. Well, that's good. These degenerates are only good at horn and drinking. Let's roll out! Soldier, move, move! All right, make Uncle Sam proud, soldiers. Come on. Clear the tracks quickly. Let's go. in 
to Mexico. Okay, sister? Well, I'm alive, senor. Although, come to think of it, I just committed a mortal sin. Claim self-defense. Always works for me. Yes, well, I fear my judges may be a little more stringent than yours. Uh, but I appreciate the advice. Unfortunately, many of my nuns are not so resourceful as you or I. Their innocence will kill them, which is truly a terrifying reality. I would not know. I think maybe you would. But let us leave the psychotherapy and focus on more pressing matters. 
They are locked in the church, while hordes of, of, of these half-witted demons are, are trying to get to them. It'd be my pleasure. You're a true Samaritan, sir. You know, they say the devil has all the best tunes. It may be so, but it seems he also has the most half-witted friends. So you know Bill Williamson, then? Excuse me? Just a little joke. I'll do as best as I can to save the nuns.
my dick. Sister, I've done as you asked. Bless you. But it's not sister. It's Mother Superior. Mother Superior Calderon. Our bishop was a stickler for regulations. <laughs> Until he got sick last week and ate half of the cathedral choir boys. I'm sorry. I only mention it because my girls are laughing at you calling me sister. What do you think is causing all this? Hmm. Déjame ver. Mexico is an old country. Many faiths have lived and died here. Many evil spirits have flourished. I have no idea what is afflicting the people here. But I know it is a sickness of the soul. Something supernatural, maybe. Certainly nothing rational. Perhaps if you were to get me a live one of these creatures, we could try a couple of experiments. Certainly. Get me a new one. One who was recently human. I want to work with a subject who has only recently turned. I'll see what I can find for you. Gracias, señor. <laughs> Cállense. No puedo creer cómo se portan. Go 
Come on! Mother Superior, I think I have a test case for you. Senor Marstone, you're a true pilgrim. That I ain't. Hmm. Now let's see. <laughs> well, it certainly isn't the flu. Their eyes are so devoid of love, of, of anything. <laughs> oh, lively one I see. Here. What is that? Holy one. <laughs> I think we may have something. It seems to be working. Maybe. Maybe not. But it seems as if you were nearly saved. Spiritual infections are confusing things, Senor Marston. None of us can hope to understand them properly. But he came back for a minute. I bless the water, but perhaps my faith is not that strong. I have to do more thinking, but I need time. Every day, more of my people fall as the dead rise in Sepulcro. Then perhaps it's time I put them to rest. Take the holy water. Maybe it will be a calming balm for the restless departed. Thank you. No, thank you. You are a blessing in an unusual form.
compound flesh. Useless! That's unfortunate.
¡No, me arrepiento! ¡Me arrepiento! ¡Me arrepiento! ¿Crees que me gusta matar a las mujeres? ¡You filthy, whoremongering wretch! Gracias, señores, que estaba viendo a mi tía, que tal vez ya desculpada. Yeah, y necesitaba yeah, la... get out of here. Go on. Go on, get it. Eh, ándale, gracias. Hello, Mr. Ricketts. Hello, John. I see you're enjoying another vacation in our little resort. Something like that. Well, we got sunshine, sand, and a plague that makes people eat each other. Come to think of it, it must feel just like America to you. What is going on? I thought things were calmer in Mexico. This is calm. What's a little like cannibalism among friends? Excuse me. So, how have you been? Good. Well, apart from my wife and son being tied up and trying to rip my soul clean out of my body, <laughs> and the entire earth turning into hell. Good. Real good. You know, John, I've lived a long life. I've seen this land when it was just wilderness and scrub. I've seen missionaries nailed to crosses by shaman and burn into just the cinders of their misguided devotion. I've seen slaves get set free and return to a bondage even more confusing than the one they left behind. I've seen diseases wipe out entire communities in a weekend. I've seen bad men make their own Valhalla out in the bush, with harems of maidens and the hunting of men as a sport. I've seen men struggle with principles and morals and the very meaning of existence. I've killed all that can be killed. Never, in all my natural-born days, seen anything quite like this. Nor me, sir. Now, if uh, we could only get something that uh, would attract these blighters, we could kill them faster and and maybe return this land to its uh, natural state. Some kind of bait? Exactly. I think I might know how. And more dynamite. I'm running pretty low. Let me see what I can do. Thank you, John. And take care. That's what I've been after.
This looks like the one. Mr. Ricketts. Hello, sir. How have you been? As you imagine. Good. Did you get the dynamite? 
Yes. Mm. And the bait. Huh. Let's see. work with that for a second. Ah, this uh, calls for a soft touch. Not the brutish hands of a man of war, but the delicate touch of an artist. Some uh, use oils, and some a chisel and a block of marble. For me, sir, it uh, was always either high explosives or the trigger of a fine iron. But it's much the same. Sometimes your humility overwhelms me, Ricketts. <laughs> you and me both, Mr. Marston. Now, if you'd have seen me when I was a young man, if you'd have seen me when I was so fast, you couldn't see me. Well, then you'd know this is humility. The truth is, well, the truth is long dead. Now we got only memories. Memories and a great swath of demonic mutants, of course. <laughs> Have you heard anything? I heard a man in Chicago was writing a biography of me. And can you believe it? An artist in Pittsburgh painted my portrait. I mean, the demonic hordes. Not your own unending glory. No. Oh, <laughs> that. Nothing too interesting. Someone said that there's some really big problems near Escalera. But I can't concern myself too much with that. This is my home now. This, and this up here. Take care of yourself. I will. I don't think getting savaged by some brainless corpse would do too much justice to your myth. <laughs> yeah, I think you're teasing me, Mr. Marston. But I thank you. And I appreciate your concern nonetheless. I must be crazy.
Ay, qué bueno. Señor Marston, how wonderful to see you alive. I think I've cleared Sepulcro. You're a brave servant of righteousness. I've been called many things in my time, but never that. <laughs> Who is that girl, by the way? She? I don't know. She said she was in a holy order in Escalera. I'm sure I keep seeing her. Or someone like her. Maybe. But it is a common enough look. Seemed like a nice girl. She told me something interesting. What's that? She blamed this terrible curse on our soon-to-be president, Abraham Reyes. Perhaps you have heard of him. Heard of him? I know him well. I hope that vain, ambitious, and repugnant parasite is no friend of yours. Not exactly. I didn't think he was that bad. And who am I to judge? Forgive me. I have just heard many unpleasant stories and met too many pregnant and abandoned girls. Of course. Well, what has he done? She claimed he had angered an ancient goddess, disturbed a crypt and a temple in her honor. <laughs> I mean, as I say it, it sounds like heresy, like the idiotic delusions of a cursed people. But in a land such as this, I have learned to be less dogmatic than maybe I have been instructed. I am sure it is just folly. Perhaps. But maybe it's time I go pay El President a visit anyway. I shall pray for you. Someone certainly needs to. Goodbye, Mother Superior. Vaya con Dios, mijo.